Good afternoon, everyone. Dzień dobry. Um, I'm represented today on the Fishing Working Group. And um, uh, today we are going to do a bit of a potpourri of languages. I will speak in English and uh, uh, Sam and will speak in Polish. So you, I hope after the lunch you will enjoy our presentation. <laughs> and um, this is good. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, today I will speak about cybersecurity awareness. But uh, just a bit of uh, history and about the, um, my organization, uh, Artificial Working Group. Uh, we were uh, created uh, in 2003 in the United States, uh, like Artificial Working Group. But in 2013, uh, we decided to create the year artificialworkinggroup.eu to expand our possibilities and our influence in, in Europe because we are a non-profit organization and uh, we are uh, working on promoting uh, cyber security and to, to prom uh, uh, we have the mission of to fight against their cyber crime. And uh, we work on uh, it for a long time and uh, what we started uh, why we are calling like anti phishing working group because we started to work when on um, phishing emails when it was uh, on boom and uh, but after that it changes and we expanded our uh, possibilities not only on phishing but uh, on other aspects um, but uh, right now we have a brand and we were thinking for a long time to change the name but because a lot of people think we are just working on anti on phishing yeah, but uh, still we have their name, uh, so we'll keep it because we still have this uh, 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 their status. What we gain for thanks to our work, we're not so many people, but um, uh, we have a lot of members. They're collaborating with us and they do research uh, with, with us. Uh, we are, our members include law enforcement energy agencies, uh, financial institutions, technology uh, companies, and uh, NGOs, also multilateral organizations. And uh, so you can see how many uh, current, currently we have more than 2,000 uh, members. And each time it's important because uh, we are not a standard nonprofit organization. Um, because a kind of coalition of our members that uh, uh, with their idea, with their objective to fight uh, to all together against cyber, cyber crime. Um, well, so there are some members that you, I'm sure you will find or your companies or some other famous and uh, that's not all obviously but you can check on our website. And uh, so our three pillars that we are working on, they are first one, data exchange. Between our members, uh, we, are, uh, we exchange with that malicious data to help each other to fight cybercrime. And, uh, 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 and also organizing e-crime events to invite in different researchers and uh, we open the call for papers and where they present their, their work and a lot of our actually our presenters right now working for really famous uh, companies like Keyset or PayPal or Microsoft. And also, yeah, you're welcome also to present and also present your company and uh, your, uh, your findings uh, in uh, cyber security. And also, uh, um, on into the data exchange platform that we have, we're creating uh, reports so you can also find it on our website. It's uh, free of charge uh, because our members producing their different, da uh, different data and findings that what we find each uh, three months. So, and also, uh, well, uh, we're there. The, uh, their most important pillars that I will going to come uh, to um, speak about more today. It's awareness. We're working on awareness uh, really actively. We created Stop Thin Connect uh, campaign in 2010. And uh, we're also working on different projects for students and for 
um, people who just want to know more about cyber, uh, cyber security and cyber security awareness. And <coughs> a Southern uh, Stop and Connect campaign, uh, it was created in the United States with their APWG and uh, US governmental uh, national cyber security airlines. And, uh, and uh, so we started with their uh, really famous companies and partners just to, uh, we just created like a small uh, idea at first what is, uh, how to promote uh, the awareness on the threats that we have every day. How we, how we do that? And uh, uh, for instance, uh, what do you think about the question, what do you usually respond? Uh, what kind of wine do you like? White or red? White. White. Well, I usually say I like the free one. Uh, and actually, uh, well, it's true, and also about the data. It, I, uh, we prefer the free, uh, the, uh, about using the internet, we prefer their uh, free websites, right? And how we could promote to people that uh, not all free websites is, uh, is uh, really. Uh, they don't have vulnerabilities or they are safe. And that's why it was created, Stop Think Connect campaign. For people to think, for ICT users to think, and end users to think slowly. Before clicking, to, to think what we are going, uh, well, what to do if we receive phishing emails, what to do if we receive scams, what, what we should, do, uh, should we do. Not click first, think before clicking. And uh, well, and uh, so with their, uh, in 2010, we created this slogan, Stop, Think, Connect. And uh, it first, at first, to, to give some material uh, for uh, users, for companies, and uh, what to do uh, and how to promote this cyber secu security everywhere. These are materials, the main idea is to, for free, to, for everyone to use it for free and promote for other companies and for, uh, for financial institutions, for your employees, for your, uh, in, uh, even in your company. So to, uh, they are, uh, to, and all together, if you start from their uh, small, uh, just with their, we started with their, uh, uh, with one company, and, uh, second, third company, but after that, we see uh, we saw that uh, it's important to promote this culture uh, of safety, right? And uh, and this is our objective. So, no smoking with the no smoking with the recycle, right? Science to help stop and connect to, for uh, for people to think uh, to think about um, their. Safe, uh, safe environment to make uh, like internet we want, and <coughs> so with their global uh, deployment uh, framework, we are uh, first we are concentrated on uh, propaganda in a positive way. That's why we also we are, um, with the help of such uh, multilateral organizations, uh, for instance uh, UN, uh, UN. Uh, Nation office or uh, OS uh, organization of American state American states and also European Commission and ENISA uh, we are trying to um, do this propaganda of um, of uh, safe safe internet and also deployment about the deployment model Abshenik will speak about uh, a bit more how they deployed in Poland the Stop and Connect campaign. But um, uh, this is the idea of uh, to make it on the base uh, of the greater, uh, greater platform or if they want to create their platform and with their uh, help of creators on their, of the local, uh, locals know better what uh, users need more. 
I will show you uh, after that some examples of Japan and after Spain as well, how uh, it, different approaches of deployment there of this company. And also it is on, um, this is one more voluntary work as well because and also a desire of people and companies to, uh, to promote the campaign and safety. And uh, yeah, and if you, I already mentioned, but also like to uh, mention well, again about think, thinking slow. This is the most important also. Uh, if, you re, uh, if you read the, uh, um, the book, uh, Daniel Kenan, uh, Thinking Slow, Thinking Fast. It's about this, so we, it's not on, even, uh, we should, uh, when we react in their, um, in real life, you have to think about what we do, right? But a lot of uh, people just don't do the same in their virtual life. And this is a problem, how to promote this. And this is the difficulties that we usually face. How we uh, do it for kids, also for elderly people, because young generation, young, young generation, I mean more than 25, 30, and uh, so they are already live with our, uh, with internet, with their uh, different uh, te uh, technology, different types of technologies. But for small kids, they are they are really attracted with that uh, different, um, well, or uh, banners and just clicking on it without because it's like attractive. And how we promote this, right? This is if, uh, that we, uh, we, try, we are trying to do. And this, uh, well, right now what we have, the map, that we started in 2010, and right now we have 20 nations deployed. Poland in, is included from 2017. They deployed their stops in com campaign here. And also, the 34 memorandums of cooperation signed. Yeah, this, it means it works because uh, uh, we are expanding our possibilities, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of companies, a lot of organizations were to cooperate to work on on uh, awareness. And uh, well, so you can see there are different regional concentrations of uh, Stop and Connect campaigns. So Europe, uh, I will stop after that. Again, Africa, North America, um, Australasia, and Asia, Latin America. And uh, just a second. Um, yeah. So and there are some multilateral organizations that we're working with. So you can see their quite a long list, and after that, the, I will stop one more European institution that we are working right now with an ESA, European Commission, and uh, um, Europol. Friends, uh, and there are some European curators that we are uh, we have right now, and uh, also uh, I would like to mention about some project and some events what we are doing in cyber, uh, cyber security events. It's just to, to promote the fight of cyber crimes through a cyber security events. Yeah, this is um, uh, thanks, to, thanks to Stop, Think, Connect we ha and our members, we have different contacts. And thanks to that, we have different projects on cybersecurity events. For instance, in uh, this, this uh, I think it was in April, yeah, uh, Anissa contacted uh, us to do uh, a phishing infographic on, uh, on well, for infographic on phishing and uh, to, uh, well, to do, uh, to promote it everywhere between our Stop Think uh, Connect uh, curators. And actually, um, it was like just an infographic and just a small project, but, uh, and Anissa also contacted some uh, member states, and uh, we are happy that right now, this month, it's everywhere on Twitter, uh, on social media, what to do, what to, you should do when you receive phishing email. Just uh, don't erase it, and what you should do, that you, you can see here some recommendation. 
So, and right now, I'm really happy about that because uh, it is translated in 21 language. Uh, uh, and so you can find it on our website and download it for free and here. And also, um, just uh, uh, two months ago, European C uh, Commission also contacted us to put their logo and also promote their, uh, their reaction, right? Is there, uh, their collaboration and so they are uh, willing to participate in this project with us. Well, um, and also, for the, uh, I would like to uh, also mention that from next, we started to organize uh, cybersecurity awareness events where we invite our creators, our, it's more of a community, um, more of community, ev um, event, but after, uh, we started to invite other uh, campaigns to share um, the experience, to share the ideas, how we can get better with our uh, campaign, because if we are not perfect, we would like to get better, and what we should do, and also uh, to share wh what, is, what the problems we, f we face, uh, our creators, and also uh, other uh, other campaigns. And uh, so the European Commission uh, offered us to organize a next event in Bucharest because um, uh, in June, because uh, next year it will be the uh, Romanian presidency uh, uh, turn in European Union. And uh, here I also uh, would like to show you some um, some creators and some examples. What we have, if you remember, that we had, uh, I showed you that there are 20 uh, nations deployed their Stops and Connect uh, campaign. And here are some really great examples of Nigeria, for instance. And uh, so you also can find their usually creators um, create their website and they translate, or some, some, some creators don't translate, sometimes translate the material. The material is, you can find for free. Uh, in Poland, you will speak a, a bit more. Uh, they did it in Polish as well. And um, uh, for instance, Japan, I really like this case because they uh, did, um, for instance, he, here you can see the post of Stop Thing Connect. Uh, well, promoting, promoting everywhere. Uh, uh, this is actually metro. Uh, this is a, uh, my colleague uh, took a picture in the metro. So uh, this is a collaboration. What we have between uh, in Japan, for instance, we had several. Um, I'll show you here. Japanese shirt and also the Council of Anti-Fishing uh, anti in Japan. Uh, they are promoting Stop and Connect in uh, Japan. And so they are, they are created these uh, posts everywhere to promote the culture of, of, uh, the culture of safety, uh, safe internet everywhere in Japan. And uh, also they, uh, they created, I don't have a picture here, but they uh, created different games. Uh, on cy uh, cyber, cyber awareness and um, for kids because Japan actually is more concentrated on promoting uh, the, uh, the cyber security awareness uh, campaign in, uh, in, on, in different, um, it will in metro or uh, where there are a lot of people coming through and also for kids. That's why they created different games and cards to pr promote Substance Connect. And also there is uh, Jamaica, there, I will give it fast, Ban Bangladesh, our creator, Mongolia, and also, well, uh, US, well, we started from US in 2010, uh, Substance Connect, Contribution Working Group, and National Cyber Security Alliance created their campaign. So, there are so many materials that you can download, you can use, you can uh, for free, and uh, well, to promote their uh, campaign in your 
um, their awareness uh, in your company. And also, um, for instance, also like stopping uh, on France, they created uh, Stop and Connect thanks to collaboration with different companies. So to, uh, to uh, with the help, because also it's difficult, difficult for one creator or if it is like mini, uh, ministry as a creator or an NGO, it's difficult to promote and to uh, cybersecurity cyber awareness alone. That's why there are the France, example of France is where the, you, you can see there are so many compa companies to work on that. It depends from my national institution is different. You should use different uh, approach. And also for uh, uh, kindergartens, for instance, uh, just different. Yeah, and uh, and Switzerland, I would like to mention because um, just uh, a few weeks ago we had an event on cybersecurity awareness event here in uh, in NASC uh, uh, headquarters, and Switzerland they uh, presented their. Um, uh, they are uh, games that they do have to promote cybersecurity awareness. Escape room, where you, you, in a style of cybersecurity, right? And so their escape room. I'm sure there are a lot of people they went and uh, to a uh, really nice way to uh, spend time with your friends. And so the escape room in a cybersecurity is really exciting and it's a uh, bright light also on fashion, like cybersecurity it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is uh, um, Switzerland, and I would like to also to stop on Spain. Uh, it is uh, promoted by uh, INSIBA, it's like a third Polska you have, so we, here we have uh, INSIBA, and also Cyber Voluntarios. And here I would like also to stop and to show you the uh, video, what they prepared, because a lot of a lot of our creators uh, preparing tips, pre uh, tips and material. After that, videos, and uh, also Slovenia, they create different videos that you can find on their internet. And uh, just a second. It will be in Spanish with YouTube translation in English. I'm sorry, it should it could be um, with the mistakes. ask for their help. Yeah, and uh, well, this is a, um, so our creators produce different videos, and this is what uh, you can also see that uh, Spain also be asked to translate 
the greatest this, uh, the, the logo the logo a slogan stop think connect to make it more accessible for local creators for local and for also for locals and here I would like to stop uh, with a Polish creator uh, with their also with their help of Shemek and Nask and third Polska right now the stop think connect is the blood here in Poland yeah. thank you Zoriana uh, now I speak in Polish, we had very clear messages. Uh, you don't like it when Polish people speak in English, so we will perhaps confuse the interpreters a little bit. Uh, so in March um, eight, 2018, when we started, we are at the beginning of a road, and that is another reason why we decided to talk to you about what we would like to do and where we are right now. Let's start with the fact that, indeed, we have this uh, website, stopthinkconnect.pl. There isn't an awfully much going on on that website. First section is best practices. A few um, points translated based on simple materials free of charge. What should you remember about when you think about access to information? Three short points and what you should um, remember. Another point is, okay, these are best practices for points in terms of updating, so on and so forth. And are we safe? These are the down downloadable materials, Rampager materials. So in uh, my opinion, I think they um, look a little more attractive. We could print them out and post on the wall. But this is the very beginning of the road. As Zoriana mentioned two dimensions, I would like to elaborate on them. On the one hand, loads of uh, countries uh, spend money on awareness, and they often do the same thing. So how many times can we talk about how to safely use mobile devices? How many times are we going to say to um, prevent cyberbullying? NASC also conducts a number of awareness campaigns. We work with the children, with the schools. It's all great, but we often don't uh, produce synergies between the different activities in different countries. Since the Slovenians made wonderful viral video materials, it costs money. I think it, it, uh, they paid quite a lot. So should we do the same thing over and over again? So if, we, if everybody agrees that we should share this pool of resources, like one-pagers, uh, okay, we can say okay, we can share the video. We can share this or that. Uh, someone can lo uh, localize it, um, put in a voiceover, and so on and so forth. Say so one dimension. Another one is more important. Uh, you could see four logos on a slide: uh, recycling and biohazard, and so on. So, collectively, we should promote one message. And uh, we should think about cybersecurity or um, online security whenever possible so that we should uh, remind people about it from time to time. We teach people how to recycle things. Uh, we should not drop paper in the street. So people should remember uh, cybersecurity everywhere. There were examples with the underground, but why shouldn't we remind people about this when we uh, pay um, at the gas station, for example. For example, we travel, we are at the airport, we print out a boarding pass, and maybe we could see some reminder where to find advice on how to be safe while traveling, so on and so forth. Perhaps we should think out of the box and um, 
we should promote uh, new methods of uh, raising awareness. We can't do this on our own. We need partners like this. And uh, what for? Even as a third Poland, uh, um, thank you for calling me um, an institution man and uh, a lot of nice uh, um, words, but uh, we're not doing e-commerce. We don't. Uh, we're not experts on everything. We don't build banking systems, so we need to work with experts in those areas to develop new materials, review the materials that we publish, update the materials so that they uh, could be consistent with something connect. And uh, those should be the best people in their specialties. Uh, we need to use a variety of channels to spread the news. When we go shopping, we should see a logo, campaign logo, for example. And so that will remind me that we should not drop the paper to the ground when we go shopping. We should think whether uh, the store we are uh, purchasing from is not a fake store and so on and so forth. So we need the uh, partners. Now, what do the partners gain? Well, first of all, they are perceived as an entity interested in security, taking care of that. It's trendy to be ecological, or showing that our products are derived from recycled materials, and we ask people to recycle them again. And so it should be uh, trendy to encourage safety. We want our uh, users to, to use our products in a safe way. So I think that a Stop Think Connect logo could be used for that reason, for that purpose. And the value added is that we increase this message. We are at the, big, at the beginning of the road, so the website is there. We talk to a number of and we are talking to a number of entities, and these are several areas that we'd like to address initially as banking, e-commerce, safe traveling, mobile devices, um, social media. Also, in the context that was shown in the video material, uh, we are looking for partners. We have talked to several banks, uh, hoping we're close to conclusion. Uh, it, um, it seemed to me that uh, it would be easy to find a partner in all sectors. Um, the people are not necessarily enthusiastic. They say, OK, we do awareness campaigns. We don't need Stop Think Connect. Now, who would you uh, propose in terms of e-commerce? Yes, uh, indeed, uh, Allegro is a great partner. We were successful. The dialogue was fast. They said, OK, it's a great idea. We are doing some things already. Let's do it together. So we are hoping that uh, it's the beginning of a snowball. We hope to. Um, involve more entities. If you have ideas how to um, contribute, how to talk to your companies, how to promote thinking about security, taking advantage of Stop Think Connect, this gives access to what was uh, already created in other countries and something you can use yourself. Uh, even if you don't want to give to contribute anything, you can just uh, take it. And if you want to give something from yourselves, uh, we would be very grateful. We would include that in the shared pool. Of course, if someone gives something, it's not going to be forgot. So, for example, if an entity contributes something, then. Um, it will be remembered. It's also a certain form of a marketing message. 
So that is what I wanted to say, where we are, what we'd like to do. I'm counting on your ideas, uh, what you could do with this and how to use it creatively. As I mentioned, the receipts, uh, you could print a logo on, on boarding passes, on receipts. If you have any other interesting ideas, we could um, try and implement them. So. Do contact us, uh, do think creatively, and uh, hopefully uh, cybersecurity thinking will become trendy, sexy, and uh, will become a unified way of communication.